I'm Chris Fochel from Mizuno R&D and I wanted to go through some of the new updates to the new shaft optimizer and, and Swing DNA software. So you can see we actually just finished going through putting Luke Donald through this system. So you'll see there's a new home screen. You know, in the past the, the, our software has essentially been only your shaft optimizer. It showed your numbers and from there the fitter was all on their own. Now what we wanted to do is be create an entire fitting experience. So you come into the Mizuno world and we can walk you step by step not only through the shaft optimizer but also how to get the proper lie angle, your proper loft, everything. So it starts out with an opening home page where you can see you can put in all the players critical information, name, birth date, if they know what they're looking for, if they're left-handed, anything like that, that might be pertinent to the fitting. If you already come in as a player who knows what club they want, you can select that you know which Mizuno model fits you. So you, from here there's a drop down menu and you can pick any of our current models. If you don't know and want a recommendation, you select no and it asks you a couple questions. Either what is your handicap or what's your average score. And from there we'll then in the future recommend which model you should use when we get to the confirmation stage. The next step is we recommend that you go on towards the, towards the length measurement. There's a couple ways to do that. If the player already knows their length, then you can go ahead and slide, slide the cursor directly to where they'd like to be, or you could fill in the player's height and their knuckles to the floor measurement. Luke was five foot nine with a 31 inch knuckles to the floor, and you can see it automatically places the slider at the standard length. So after the player has gone through and hit the shaft optimizer and we've plugged in all their numbers, it's going to take an average and it's going to graph that player in terms of their head speed and their tempo. This is an interesting graph because it really dials in where a player should land in terms of a weight and a flex. So while flex is important, it's not everything. If you're in the right flex but the wrong weight, it's not really going to be a properly fit shaft. So this shows where you're going to be in both of those areas. It also, an interesting thing that consumers like to see, it shows where they land on the graph versus Stacy Lewis, Luke Donald, Charles Howell, some of our tour players. So you can just kind of see where you stack up against the pros. When you go from there, you submit and view your recommendations. This really gives you a starting point as to what shafts you should, be, you should begin with. It gives you your first three that are force ranked. The top one is our number one recommendation, but the confirmation stage is very important here. Just because, just because we recommend that the X1 soft step is the shaft for you doesn't mean that's 100%, 100% right. You should go through and check it out, hit it, get on a launch monitor, and look at the different ball flights and see what works. On top of that, because a lot of players could end up kind of near barriers, you know, where, where it would jump from one shaft to another, there's a fitter's choice option. From here, if the player, for example, is fit into a dynamic gold S soft step, but say he has arthritis and doesn't wants a sensicore in his shaft, you can go into fitter's choice, and from here it allows you to select any of our shafts that we offer. You can select what shaft, weight, whether it's hard step, soft step, whether you get sensicore or not. So that lets you fill in any gaps that you might be missing. Also on the select model, if, you, if the player hasn't selected what model they would like and we recommend, our recommendations are based on that player's handicap and shaft optimizer numbers. However, some players come in and they think they should be blade players, they think they should be playing something more game improvement. Again, it'll, the fitter's choice allows you to go in and select which model you'd like. From here you go on to the next and it talks about lie angle. This walks the player how to get a lie angle if they don't know how. It shows kind of a little graphic as to some of the swing, swing faults that will happen if your lie angle is not correct. And this will also show you how to measure it, where you put a piece of tape on the club, take a swing and measure your impact location on the sole relative to the toe or heel. And that will that'll correspond to a proper lie angle. From here, you can go on to the next step, which is your grip. It talks about how Mizuno measures a grip in terms of how thick it should be, how your hand should be placed on, what glove size you wear, also what you're comfortable with in terms of how your hands roll over or not. From there you can recommend, you can slide over, pick if you want plus a 64th or plus an extra wrap, however you'd like to have that grip built up, as well as pick the, pick the type of grip you want, whether it's one of the multicolor grips or a cord grip or a rubber grip, whatever you want. From there, we go forward to the set makeup. This is really where this jumps to a whole other level versus something that we've ever done before. Where based on your swing DNA that we've collected, we now know your handicap, we know your head speed, we know your tempo, release factor, kick angle, 
and as well as toe down. And from all of that, we can recommend a full set makeup. We know where you should stop your iron set and begin your hybrids, as well as where you should, how you should fill the gaps on the lower end, on the wedge side. If your pitching wedge is a specific loft, you should carry this, this gap wedge, this sand wedge, everything. So this will walk through and it'll show you that with Luke, we actually recommend that he carry a three MP fly high. And he, he puts that in at time to time, depending on if the course calls for it or not. As well as if you go on to the next view, based on his loft on his pitching wedge and the fact that he carries two additional wedges after his pitching wedge, we recommend that he carry a 54 and a 60 degree, which is exactly what he does. From there, we've now collected everything we need to know about the player, and you can go straight to a fitting summary. This fitting summary shows everything that we've collected, shows all their key statistics, their shaft optimizer numbers, as well as their specs in terms of length, lie angle, loft, grip size. It also shows what grip, shaft, and head they've selected, as well as the set makeup, where, where they stop that iron set and where they pick up hybrids and wedges on the tail ends. So from there, you can go right on and put in a new order and have your custom set of Mizuno irons built directly for you.